Wire when it's bent, the insulation adds stiffness to the wire. Then the, the bending is spread over a larger area. Okay, so I can bend and bend and bend and bend this. Not going to have any issues with it. When you skin wire, so what you want to do is you want to taper off the insulation. So when you're using the knife to do it, you want to have an angle on the knife, so it's like sharpening a pencil, so that insulation tapers down. Right? When you do that, so this one here I've got them tapered pretty decent. Now when we do the bending, there's going to be more bending going on right here where the insulation skinned off, which is going to make it more vulnerable. But we're going to have to have the insulation skinned off to be able to make our electrical connections. Okay? If you take and take your clients and wring the wire and nick the wire, right there where you've got these sharp edges, now all it took. It had some nicks rung in it. This other side was the same way. I'm just going to grab it, bend it a couple times. Okay? So if you ring the wire, and especially if you score it, okay, even if you ring it and don't dig into the insulation or into the conductor, it will make a vulnerable spot there. You want that bending to be able to spread, spread over a larger area. So here, eventually this is going to break, but it's not. It's not concentrating the bending right there where the insulation is, uh, is removed. So I got quite a bit of bending here. I'm moving quite a, quite a bit of amplitude here, quite a bit of distance, and that's holding up pretty good, okay? So don't take your twines and put a ring or make a ring and score that wire. How many times did it take for this one to break? Just a couple times, and it disintegrates. And that's what will happen when you go out there on a trouble call. If somebody rings that wire after the wind starts blowing it a little bit, you got to consider this stuff needs to last for 30, 40, 50 years, right? And when it's sitting there moving all the time, it needs to have, you know, it needs to be built so it'll last. So again, the one like this, still able to keep bending it. Say so eventually it will go, but uh, makes can, it a lot stronger. Can, could you demonstrate ringing the wire for him? What, the wire. what that means? And okay. this is so common to see people do. Just do it. Just do uh, it on the end. Do it yeah. on the end. Just do the end of one. Right, right here. Yeah. Oh, just the. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do a ring job here. I think, well, we'll get down here. We'll just score it down, get rid of the insulation. And if I just make one, sl one slice here, I can just peel the rest of it off. Get the ring good enough here. Because people don't want to strip all the way around, they just want to strip one side. They put this gouge in here to get it the rest of the way off. Which actually, if you're used to skinning it the right way, this actually is a little harder to me. So do it like this. Okay, but now, eh, I didn't dig it real deep. But hold that still a second. Okay, so right here at the base, he's nicked it. And where it's nicked is exactly what he was trying to show when it was mid-span, how it's going to break. There he goes. Falls right off. Okay, we'll so try one the other way. Don't ring it. See, and it's actually, to me, it's quicker and easier to do it the right way. I don't even want to bend now. It's a lot tougher. I bet it quite a bit too here. It doesn't want to go. Okay. A lot tougher when you pencil it out. It's just starting start to soften up now so it's going to finally break. But see, it took a lot more. Okay, so that's going to be able to, and that was an extreme amount of bending there. In reality, we're just going to get a little bit of bending, but for years and years and years. Right? So, but you see how easy that was? Once you get the knack of skinning it, and I saw some of you guys kind of noticed them, you know, it's like, Wow, he made that look pretty darn easy. But you just, you develop that knack after a while. It just comes right off. It's all in the, the knife angle. You know, you need to work on the knife angle. And uh, it comes right off. See how much easier that is than ringing it? It comes right off of there. So, helps when you've probably done 10,000 of them like that, you know. But, uh, you know, I don't do it anymore every day. But once... It's like riding a bike. Once you, once you develop that, do one in the center. Do one in the center. It's a little tougher. This one I'm not a 
Actually, this is the one I did do in the center here. Um, yeah, give me another piece. This is a lot tougher to do one in the center. If a couple guys hold the wire out a little ways from you, might be good, Aaron. That's, that's hard, isn't it? So again, tapers off. You've got the stronger, it's a lot stronger this way. So maybe that's one thing we need to do is just practice skinning. You know, practice getting that knife angle. I see some of you guys fighting and, you know, you'd struggle a bit to get this off of here. I uh, had some bigger wire here. How about some knife safety here, guys? Where should you have your hands while you're doing this? He's cutting away from himself right here, you know. Um, don't, don't hold the other end of it and cut towards yourself. So. Mid span. Don't, don't cut with your partner so close that if you slip, you're going to slice your partner. So. All right. Questions? Y'all got this? Do I make that look easy? Yeah.